Which one derby's had a significant effect on the title race. But how will that battle for ultimate supremacy be shaped here? Expectation. Saka getting to the byline. And Lloris has tipped it in. It's first blood to the side in first place. Precision. Erdogan. Arsenal in dreamland. Ambition. The win they most crave. And it comes rich with significance. Perfection. I've never seen this team play with such confidence in what they're all doing individually, which then leads to a team performance. They think they're going to go out and win every single game, which I've been there in the past when you get that sort of feeling as a team and as an individual. It's amazing how many doors you can knock down and, and they're in that position right now. He got some stick when he first came out with what he's trying to do and we didn't see the evidence of that on the pitch. But now all of a sudden everyone's buying into it from the outside. I think the link between the supporters and the players has been key to all of that and, and Arteta has to take great credit for that. He's unified the club. The Emirates has never been as loud as it is right now. Jesus to uh, Erdegaard. When you see how skillful he is on the ball, he takes your breath away at times. His feet are super quick. He's already won two moves ahead with his brain and the players around him. And I think that's a, a real plus for Arsenal because with him on the ball, they can carry the ball up the pitch pretty easily. And so players are willing to make runs off the ball then, which is key to, to moving defences around. Old Trafford witnessing the end of perfection. It wasn't to be a six out of six for the Gunners. Instead, a fourth straight win for Manchester United. Every hurdle we've had put in front of them, they've jumped over it, apart from the Man United game. In a way, it may be taking a bit of pressure off this side, because if you go into this game, or any game, undefeated, then the pressure itself piles up. That's not the case now. They have lost one game, so we can put that out of the way. They've not got to think about that. The eyes are on the big prize, which is can they challenge right to the end of the season for this league title? And at the moment, they're showing really good signs. This, this, would, this would be a dream, just be a dream. We haven't won it for a long time, so I think for me it would mean everything, and to everyone around the club it would mean everything as well. So, yeah, we've got, we've got a task and we just need to, to stay focused on that. so far. Elise tries his luck! After the dramatic Derby Day victory on Saturday, momentum lost going in to the big game with Arsenal. Big blow for Ten Hag because having won that game against the local rivals, you want to go again and the big teams do go again. You know, they're able to refocus really quickly. So they'll be disappointed that they've let that momentum slip, but they can certainly get it back against Arsenal at the weekend. Yeah, anyway, a really good run, and I think they deserve in the position where they are now. How they play, there's a really good mentality, winning attitude in the team, and that's why they are now top of the list. So they are in a great run, but it's up to us to to beat that run, and we will do everything um, to, to to do that. About Fekhorst, the new focal point of the Manchester United attack. You've got to be a big character. You're playing at one of the biggest clubs in the world now, and so that pressure will be probably a make or break for him, because he's obviously a good footballer, but it's just whether he can deal with that red shirt and that badge on his chest. This is absolutely one of the biggest clubs in, in the world. It's special and it's nice and it's great to work on it with, with the logo, but yeah, once you're on the pitch, you just want to, to deliver and you want to perform and yeah, you want to win. If United are really serious about getting into the top bit of the league, they need to win this game and Arsenal know that. It's going to be really interesting to see how both sets of full-backs deal with the wide players on either side because United have gone back to that strong 
fast wingers down the side of the pitch. And obviously Arsenal have well documented how quick they are down the wings. So whoever wins the battle down the sides will probably win the game. They only get too carried away, but the way they're going, you, you quite easily see one of the games of the season on Sunday.